morning, baby. Hi. Hey. How was your night? Good. It was all right. Yeah? I slept very late. But... Yeah, you always sleep late. Because you always come back home late. You know, and you never have time to unwind. All work and no play makes you really grouchy in the morning. It's not my fault. Blame it on the traffic. Oh. <laughs> well, I can blame traffic for your incessant lateness every single day. Right? But you not having time to unwind, that's all on you. I'm sorry. Listen. I don't have time for this this morning, Ray. I've got no fighting bone left in me, okay? I have got none. I was in traffic for over four hours yesterday. And now I have clients. You know, I have to go. I'm not trying to fight with you. And you know what? Let's forget that. Okay? I made this for you, right? And uh, why don't you sit and, and we can talk? Do you know what? I will eat in the office because I have some international clients that recognize my work. And they want to hire me to plan their next awards. Big bucks, big money, and if we do it well, we'll get a huge, massive Christmas bonus, okay? Mm. I gotta go, love. Mm. Love you. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Putting a lot of effort into making that food for you, right? I woke up really early to make this food for you. So the least you could do for me, and for yourself actually, is to at least taste it. I know what it tastes like. How do you know if it tastes good? You haven't tasted it yet. Because it always does. It always it does. Like what was the last time you ate my food? Huh? Seriously? Dude, what's happening? Oh, I'm fine. Good morning. Good morning, Dede. How are you? I couldn't be better. <laughs> um, the text message you sent to me last night about Hazel PLC wanting our professional services, was that a joke? <laughs> That's the plain truth, you know, Dede. No joke at all. And listen to me, yeah? If we get this deal done properly, we're in for some big dough. Some massive bucks, honestly. But I just hope everything goes according to plan, you know? I don't need no mess ups, yeah? You better send me your email address immediately so I can start the plan in motion. <laughs> listen, yeah? Listen, just take it easy. Okay, we can discuss. I know you're in a rush. Okay, okay. Meet me up at the base lounge. Alright then, cool. I'm coming now, on my way. Alright. Day. Oh, sorry, sorry for keeping you waiting. No, oh, it's all right. I understand. I understand. So what's up? I can't wait to hear this gist. Relax, man. Relax. Your blood today hot. My all the time. blood suppose hot. Now money matter. Yeah, my blood suppose hot. Come on. Okay. All right. You have to be kidding me right now. 35 million naira contract. Mm -hmm. Whoa! This is big! <laughs> and then, this is so big. I mean, we have to get all hands on deck. I mean, this is a clear communication. No third person. <laughs> Damn! I know, right? The price is just perfect. The price is right. Oh. And you know what? It's not going to cost me much money on this because the vendors are my friends. Oh, okay. Caterer, okay. 
florists, all of them are my people. All right. So do you know right. what? We have a lot of money to make if we do this right. Okay. Um, so what are the rentals? I'm only going to rent audio visuals and lightings. Okay. That's all I need, really. All right. That's all. Okay. Um, so what are the publicity stuff? Now that one, I'm going all out. I'm going to make sure the invitation cards are just top notch, top. And that reminds me, Dede, you are handling the signers and the banners. Oh, right okay? away, right away. So make sure any right designs away. or anything you just do, anything, whatever it is, you can count add on it to me. the expenses. You can okay? count on me. <laughs> no, definitely, this is big. Oh my God. By the wow. time we are true with this, I am going to be known as the, the best, best event planner in Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boss. You know what I'm saying, We're right? this down. For real. <laughs> this is no joke. We're Your blood down. just they hot all Make the time. Make it hot. Make it hot. As we open door, we open mouth. Blood go hot. Make money, they come. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, uh, um, Weta. Uh, um, please come. Oh. Okay, so we have to start straight away. Yeah, sure, we start sure, today. Sure. What does this woman take me for? Huh? What does she think she is? I stay at home all day, do my work, and take care of this house. She comes back whenever she wants, goes to bed, and then I wake up early, toiling in the kitchen making food, and she won't even eat it. Really, I hope M.M. doesn't push me to my limit. Seriously. Because I swear to God I'm getting there. Good morning. <laughs> wow. A little bit late, I know. Elizabeth. <laughs> Blame it on the cheap alcohol I drank last night. Huh. Just to get artistic inspiration, yet no show. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, that's not an issue. But that's a lot of excuses, okay, for an intern. You have to watch it. No, I'm serious. You have to watch it, okay? Because I don't appreciate when you come. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what's, what's that? Oh. Huh. Take a look. Wow. This is nice. Thank you. So how did you pick who to draw? Um, just like you told me, you said whenever I want to draw, I should use the person that inspires me a lot, that mm. appeals to me. Mm -hmm. He does. His name is Darren Brown. Darren. Interesting. <laughs> so how did you start? <laughs> I started by sketching a curve yeah. up there, and it connected me to get here, the curve down here. The jaw, yeah? Yes. Nice. And? And I used the both angles to get the chin. Perfect. <laughs> You're a very fast learner, you know. Uh, learning from the boss, you mean? Hey, I can't <laughs> argue with that. I can't argue. <laughs> Oh, wow. I apologize. Okay? I apologize for my manners. What's that? What do you want? Oh. I have water, I have juice, I have food. What do you want? For an ordinary intern like me. Shouldn't you be straight and stern? Oh, don't be ridiculous, okay? There are no protocols here, okay? And I don't belong to that school of thought, okay? Yeah. You just hold your work. This Thank is really nice. You. Sit down, I'll go get you uh, juice. Thank right? you so much, Please friend. sit. Thank you. So, do you want to see the new sketches I'm working on? Of course, yes. Yeah? Yeah. They look really nice. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Let me see that again. That's, okay. This is nice. Uh, uh, so, 
Ha! Ah, welcome to my happy place. You know this place very well. This is my wow. mini masterpiece. Yes, I've been working on this for a little bit now. This is nice. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, um, this was actually inspired by the average Nigerian youth. Oh. You know, some people say we're lazy out here. You're right. Like to disagree, you know, we're not. This is a hardworking young guy, and you know, I try to put details, certain details to show things like the age, you know, his social class, like the hat he's wearing, you know, shows, wow. you know, and this is a guy with ideas, he's a this star. That's great, I love it. That's why I put stars in his uh, I'm so mask. in love with this. Yeah, and he's bending metal, he's working with metal, he's working with iron, that's hard work. You know, so, <laughs> this yeah. is great. Thank you. This I love piece, it so much. <laughs> you love it. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Aww. This piece is called The Youth. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to see more stuff? <laughs> yes, of course. All right, come this way. Let's go to the workshop. Okay. This is nice. Thank you. Arsenal youngster. It was quite a moment to come when he's, he's left that position out and 
There's no hiding left. Let's go to the park outside and pick these boys. They will play better than this one. It's not about daylight anymore. Oh, Nathan Niles has flown in there on Neil Taylor. Aston Villa's players are just getting in the ear of John Moss here. The free kick has gone to Aston Villa. If he goes to his pocket, what are you doing? Aston hey, I'm watching that. Ainsley oh. but Ainsley Maitland-Niles. I'm watching. Lift the volume. Hey, girl. <laughs> Babes, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> hmm? Okay. You lie. He bought you a brand new car. See, that's a real man you have. You have a real man. A real man is what you got. <laughs> <laughs> but babes, you're lucky. You're just lucky. He bought you a brand new car. But you know I bought my car myself. I bought my car myself. It's not the same. There's a big difference when your man buys you something, when you buy it for yourself, you know? <laughs> what else did your man do for you? What else? <gasps> Don't lie. He bought that for you? Ah. Mm. What's happening, man? Mm. Just farming, isn't it? You know, trying to make a man feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> Babes, you don't understand. You just do not understand what I'm dealing with in this house. You don't get it. <sighs> Where do I start from? Where? My marriage. My marriage is another kettle of fish, you know, mom. My marriage is just there. It's just there. You know, I'm not enjoying any bit of it. None of it. I'm not enjoying it. I'm tired. You know, I'm tired of this. 
I don't care, mom. I don't care. You know, what kind of marriage is this? Every time, just negative energy all the place. Gloom. What? I'm tired. It's not by force. Mom, I'm tired of this. I'm calm. I'm calm. But I'll try my best. I'll try, but I can't promise nothing. I'm not making no promises. Because it's not by force. It's not by force. Yeah, but I'll try. I'll try. But it's not by force. Yes, I'll try. All right, look. But give my regards to Dad, yeah? Okay, take care. Love you. Bye. According to the beginner's guide that I read yesterday, I realized for the block in, you have to begin with big proportional relationships. You know, from the high to the weeds, and establish the contour of the head and the face. <laughs> I hope. Are you okay? Uh, I mean, you weren't listening to me. I, I just said something, but you weren't listening. Are you okay? Oh, my bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, my mind just drifted. You know? Sorry about that. Would you like to talk about it? No, don't worry about it. It's nothing serious. You know? No, I insist. <sighs> Is it about your relationship? Sure, I just give it up. Okay? Emotional baggage? Is it? Fine. You win. Okay, you're very persistent. Family issues. About your wife, I presume. I mean, you have no idea. She's a, a handful. And that's me putting it politely, believe me. Hit it on the head. What is it all about? I just told you. Like, she makes everything difficult for me. It's okay. Um, you know, if you are on a crosswalk, you will know that modern marriage is not what it used to be. You just have to be patient and time. Communication is the key. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate your kind words. Thank you. Yeah. So, what were you saying? I'm sorry. I, oh, that. I was so excited about Silent treatment between you and your husband, Mofe. I mean, that's not fair. Come on, MM. <laughs> this is not even a young marriage. You have to be careful. Honestly, don't be one of those pathetic people for whom divorce come true after the long trail of marriage is gone. Honestly, I don't like that drama. Isn't this a subtle sign that things are about to hit the rocks? Never. You don't have to say things like that. Honestly, M.M., I don't like your negative vibes sometimes. You don't have to joke with words like this. Never say never. Never say never, Dede. Hello, darling. How are you? And how's your sister? Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Half term. Yes, baby, I remember. Okay, do you know what? Let me get to the office, okay? And I'll call you so I can speak to your sister and, of course, to your principal. All right then, darling. I'll call you shortly, okay? Love you, baby. Okay, bye. <laughs> My babies. Oh, how I've missed them so, so much. You love them, right? So, so much. To the moon and back. And a million times over. Good. Then let them be the reason your marriage will work. Your young heart, your fragile heart, don't you think they deserve peace and togetherness? Come on. 
Really? Well, you know I can't wait to see you girls. Yeah, I can't wait to see you. It's been ages, right? You know Daddy loves you. Don't worry, I'm going to make your room. I'm going to fix it up so it's very colorful for you when you get back. Oh, and I'm going to have Cold Stone and a chocolate bar each for both of you. Yeah, it's going to be waiting in the fridge for you, you know? <laughs> All right. Looking forward to seeing you girls, okay? All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. What happened? Why was she crying? Her auntie that works at the school grocery broke the news that her parents were parting the ways. And her elder brother, Kolade, committed suicide. Jesus Christ! Yes, my sister. She cried bitterly that I almost cried with her. Hey God, poor girl. It's a pity. I pray for her. Unsettling dream. God, what dream? Really, in that dream, we are reduced to children of the mud. Children of the mud? What is children of the mud? And how? Lily, in that dream, we were sleeping in an uncompleted building, hawking different kinds of goods under the scorching sun. To keep body and soul together. Lily, in that dream we suffered. Are you serious? But what of mom and dad? Mom and dad. 
in that dream. Mom and Dad. Mom and Dad have long gone their separate ways. Just by reducing us to that pitiable situation. This is not good. So, Lily, I know there are a lot more kids in your class now than last year, so how's that going? Yes, Dad. Even people from other countries are now in my class. We have Kali from Nairobi, and we have Maya Carlos, a Filipino. She speaks Tagalog. Wow. And I love it when she speaks it. That's interesting. Are they friendly? Yeah, they are. I even have a Ghanaian friend. Her name is Akoswa Akeyang. Yeah. She's not in mathematics like me. We're just like a picture expert. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Mm -hmm. So girls, tell me you're still doing greatly in your continuous assessment. <coughs> Listen girls, I hope you still remember that advice I gave the two of you in your first day at school. You do, right? <clears throat> not to interrupt or cut in rudely. But I hope you girls are enjoying your food. I know you guys love plantain, that's why. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dad, I love plantain. Yeah, I love plantain. You've always loved it since you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Um, let me just take a look. No, no, I just want to inspect your plantain. What? I just want to inspect your plantain. No. No, I want to inspect. Have the... your own. I know. Hey, hey, what are you doing? I took your plantain because you took mine. I didn't even touch your plantain. Really? Bella, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mom and Dad's cold behavior towards each other. I thought I was the only person that noticed it, even when they tried so hard to hide it. But what could be wrong? They used to be inseparable. And to make matters worse, they even forgot the anniversary. Oh my goodness. This is so bad, Ella. Let's just not conclude fast. Our imaginations might be playing tricks on us. You never can tell. I hope so. So girl, are we still doing the anniversary surprise thing? Why not? <laughs> so what are you wishing them since you are the printing force for all this? I wish that they find time to look back on all their sweet memories together. So what are you wishing them? Full and joyous life for many years to come. Amen. in this house. Well, what are they doing this to us now? I'm so tired. This is so bad. God, please deliver us from this temptation. I pray so, amen. Pray so. God. man's game plan. What is it? To turn my own children against me? My own kids? Never. I know the kids are definitely beginning to notice something unusual. They're really smart. If not for this woman's irrational behavior, we'll still be at peace. Stupid.
Happy belated anniversary, Mom and Dad. It's today? Of course not, Dad. It was yesterday. You forgot. And why, if I may ask? Is there something they are not telling us? You should ask them that question. They are in the right position to answer us. But whatever it is, I hope we don't suffer the same fate as yet to be my schoolmate. Happy belated anniversary, Mom and Dad. Lily, let's go and sleep. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Um, Good night. It was actually, yesterday. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you very much. Good night. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so afraid, Ella. I'm so afraid. Here I am, thinking that our parents' marriage is made in heaven. But, but look at what they have turned it into. Ella, what if this marriage packs up? Really? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Everything is just tearing apart. How did we get here? I don't know. It's, it's funny. How one minute you are living the life you would always wanted. And boom! Everything is coming to an end. Everything is about to come to an end. Ella, we still need mom and dad together for validation. Never. I was taught in class that marriage is for better for us. I will never be that girl that came from a broken home. Then we need to act fast before they take this thing to another level. I second that. <laughs> so what are we going to do now, Ella? Uh, hmm. Can we employ a silent treatment? Silent treatment? No way! Ella! These people are not going to bow to this! And moreover, they will think we are kids and we don't know what is happening. Um, true talk. I know what to do. What? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Hello, girls. Come here. No, don't touch me. What? What's going on? I just want to take you guys to go get some ice cream. We well, don't want ice cream. Thanks, Dad. We're not interested. We can pass on with that. Lily, are you interested? Who? Me? I am not interested. In. Go and take your wife out. Not us. Girls? 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 Yeah. Don't touch me. Come on, let me take you guys out to the cinema. You know, there's so many good movies out. Come on, girls. Thanks, ma. You're not interested. Carry your husband and bang with him there. Thanks, but no thanks. Lily, come, let's go play a dress at the like a singing. Ella, Lily, girls. <laughs> what? What? You see what you call? Huh? It's all your fault. You see what you call? Me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't you pass the buck here, okay? This is your mess. You deal with it. So you deal with your irrational thinking and unclear behavior first. <laughs> you deal with your self-centeredness, a poor reason. Rubbish. Hmm. 
<laughs> Stupid! Look at yourself! Big for nothing! Whoa, whoa. Get out! Did I insult you? Hey, come back here! I'm talking to you! Come back here! Stupid, useless, lazy, small man. What is wrong with you? How dare you talk to me like that? Huh? Do you think we're in competition? Do you think it's a uh, reality TV show? Ella and Lily are my children. You're mine! Wait. So you think you can manipulate my children against me, right? What? Is that what you think? You have failed. Shame on you, useless man. Look who's talking. Look who's talking. You don't even know the first thing about raising children. You don't know how to approach raising children. And the littlest thing is that you are. The littlest thing, things that don't matter. It gets to you when you call yourself a good woman, when you call yourself a wife. Shame on you! A hundred shame. I am not done talking! Do not interrupt me when I'm talking. You want to take them to the movies? Oh, please! What was the last time you visited them? Huh? What was the last time you attended their end of year party? What was the last time you even checked their, their, their terminal results? When? And you call yourself a mother? A hundred shames on you. One million shames on you, Mofe. Shame on you. But since you brought it onto the table, when was the last time you paid rent in this house? When? When was the last time you paid your children's school fees? When? When was the last time you took them shopping? What, you think is with this change you make from color painting, with this rubbish you call fine art? You sless man. You're just a poor excuse of a man. Shame on you, dear. I am more of a man than your father. Because he only wanted to build children. He despised you. Your own father despised you because you were a woman. Yeah, take that. I'm more of a woman than your berated mother who breastfed you to you were 10 years old. That's why you're like a muppet, puppet. Mommy's boy. You're hurt. Look at you. You're hurt. It's okay. getting to you. <laughs> why should I be hurt anyway? Why? Why? Oh, oh, why? You're not hurt. Why should I be hurt? You're not hurt. Huh? You're not hurt. Why, 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 why do you look like this? Shame on you, you sless man. Bring money, bring money. Do hey. something in your life. I bring money. For okay, what? I bring money. I make money too. I make money too. What, from color paint? Yes, from that job. What? See, is that a job? This is what's wrong with you. All this is what's wrong with you. I don't want is to that a job? You. What is wrong with is you? Is that a job? Is no that respect. Job? No respect. I would respect you when you bring money. I don't even need you. What do you even do in this house? What do you do? What motherly duties do you perform? You know what motherly duties do you perform? They have children. They want family duties to perform. Right, you protect perform. and take what? care of my kids. Is that it? I protect and take care of my we kids. Protection. Tomorrow is Chima and Chima Kat's birthday. Oh, my goodness. It's a lie. Then go ahead and check the calendar. It's true. So what are we going to do? Virtually nothing. I guess mom and dad are not even aware of it. And telling them now is going to be a wasted effort. I know, right? And they are not even going to take us there. They are like sworn enemies now. And Uncle Judy is not even in the side to take us there. This is so unfair. This is not the kind of life I prepared for. Me too. Well, Lily, let me ask. If I can wrong someone in my class, 
and own up to it and apologize to the person. Would that make me any less? No. So why can't mom and dad iron their differences and make heavy like adults? Maybe you come to realize that age is just a number. And come to think of it, they won the best couple in our graduation party last year. And this? This dear misunderstanding is definitely going to cost us so much. So, so much. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, good morning, my darling. How was your night? Not good. Why? Mommy, how can I sleep knowing full well that my parents are at loggerheads? Mommy, how can I sleep when my once peaceful parents have turned this house into a war zone? My daughter, listen to me. You know I'm your mother. I can never ever deceive you. Yeah? All of this is not me. It's not. It's your father. He's the architect of every single thing. But mom, you can make things happen. I was taught at school that mothers are better peacemakers and better at compromise. Please mom, reunite this family. You have the power to do so. Please. Look here, my daughter. Hmm? Your mother does not belong to that school of thought. And neither should you. Okay? Your father, he is responsible for everything. If he wants peace, let him make peace. He started it. Let him end it. Okay? It's not like that, my love. I don't want you trying to be any sort of weak woman. It's not possible. Jenny! <laughs> What's up? Girl, guess what? Guess. I got the contract. <laughs> but you know, you know. Big box. <laughs> too much money, babes. Too much money. That is all she cares for. Contract this, contract that. It is so hard. We need to do this the hard way. Broken home is not for me and my sister. Never. Hey, beautiful. What are you doing out here on your own? Huh? Are you okay? Dad. Yeah? I want to ask you a question. And I want you to be honest about it. <laughs> okay. Shoot. Ask me. What's changed? About what? About your mom. <laughs> Did she tell you to come ask me that question? No, Dad. I'm asking you because I want to know the cause of this drift. Well, you should ask your mother. Okay, she's in a better position to tell you, not me. Please, Dad. Please. You're the head of this house. I want you to make it right with Mom. Please. I believe in a theory. A theory that states broken things can be mended. Please, Dad. Please. It's okay. It's okay, babe. It's okay. Okay? Don't bother yourself. Come on, let's go inside. Okay? I don't like you sitting out here alone. Yeah? You don't want to go in. One sit here. It's okay, babe. Okay? Problem. I can't even concentrate and finish an ordinary novel in five days, which doesn't take me more than two days to read. Oh God. Even me. I can't concentrate in reading. I can't watch television. I've lost appetite for food. I can't even concentrate in any social activities. 
especially that dream that has refused to leave my mind. I have worried version of my old self. This is so difficult for us. I know, I know. Uh... Girls! <laughs> Mommy's made you your favorite smoothies. Mommy's brought you some nice, delicious smoothies. Beetroot and pineapple. I'm sure my babies can't wait. Come on, darling. And we can't wait for you to leave us alone. And if you're done, shut the door. What? Mom, you had her. Leave. Girls, what's going on? What's wrong? Baby, speak to me. I'm your mom. Lily. My Lily. Ella. My firstborn. In case you change your mind, I'll leave it here, okay? that our parents are going to keep their promise this year. What promise, if I may ask? They promise that we'll go for summer holiday this year. With the way things are going, I don't think they will still keep to their promise. Are we cursed or something? Lily, don't say that. I don't like this negative vibe from you. We're not cursed. Hello, hello, Lily. How are you two? Long is time. You're fine. Wow. So, when did you two come back from school? Just a few days ago. Really? So you two girls have been there witnessing your parents' madness every other night. How do you cope with that? <coughs> Excuse me. What do you mean by that? Exactly what you heard, girls. Who gave you the effrontery to talk about my parents in such tone? Sorry if I'm intruding. But one question. How do you girls read your books? Play in such environment. Well, think of my parents, they are Christians and can't even be seen quarreling like that. Get out of here, you fool! It's okay, I'll leave. But tell your parents to stop this in nuisance. This is a residential area, not a market school of boxing ring. Thank you. Can, you. can you imagine this fool? So this madness has gone beyond the four corners of our house. Even the neighbors know what is going on inside our house. Our mom and dad are dragging our names in the mud. This is bad. Imagine, Jacinta. Jacinta. Oh, no. Good morning, Mr. Rafael. And good morning, Mrs. Emma. Lily, you just call me by my own name. Me, your mother. Such impudence! How dare you, Lily? Is that what they're teaching you in school? Yes, Dad. Yes. We gave you that name, Mom and Dad, because we agreed to come out of Mrs. August's womb. And now we're taking it back. And since you two have refused to work things out, we will disown you and adopt another son. And most especially, we are giving you five days ultimatum to reconcile your differences. Else, we'll sue you for child support. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Lily, let's go.
one more reason to hold on tight. So many questions I need an answer. Hard to let it go. Give up your pride and I'll give up my ego. There is no reason to hold on. Let it go. Let's get a little closer. Can you stop brooding? Marriage is never a happy ending. It comes with struggles and complications. But the question is, is your wife really worth it? Lots of people out there that love you and can do anything, everything just to be with you. Mommy, this is so bad. This, this is not good at all. Oh God. Oh God. Stop crying, baby. Stop crying. Stop crying.
here she comes. Daddy's girlfriend. In her dreams. Come, let's dismiss her once and for all. Pulling you my foot. Hello, kids. Yes? What do you want? Well, my name is Sarah. I am your dad's protege. Yes, you really are. Well, Miss Prodigy, we won't be needing your services in this house anymore. My daddy is a married man. And since you cannot draw the line, go and look for single men and not my father. Have a nice day, dear. Um, but, but what, Miss Prodigy? Leave. Um, I say leave. Don't worry about me. Leave, Joshua. Oh, oh, get out. Let me see your stinking foot into this house again. Okay? And I will call it out. Daddy, hmm? do you want to talk about it? And how long has it been going on? Nothing has been going on. Don't put words in my mouth. Daddy, come on. Everything was glaring. You kissed her. You vowed in front of the clergyman, remember? Girls, please don't do this. Please. Not right now. I don't need this. Don't do what exactly. You cheated. I didn't cheat. I just kissed the woman. Okay? And guilt has been killing me since that day. Right? And I wasn't myself. I was unguarded. I was vulnerable. Right? And it wouldn't happen ever again. Ever. It's definitely not going to happen again. And please, girls, please, please, don't tell your mom. On one condition, that serial lady will not step her foot in this house again. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. Deal. Of course. Yeah. And sort yourself out. Maybe let's go. About what? Everything. Okay. Talk about us. Talk about the marriage. Talk about the kids. Everything. Mafe, the only thing I want to talk about is Syria. And how you shamelessly kissed her. I mean, wait, listen. No, no, no. Wait, just listen to me. Okay, it's not what you think it is. Okay? It's not what I think. It's definitely not whatever you're thinking right now. What exactly do I think? You see, I knew there was something about that ugly brat you carry all the time. I knew there was something there, but I couldn't quite figure out what it is. But now I know. Now I know. But you see, my friend, I'm not paying. Don't, don't shut me out. Don't shut me out, please. I was vulnerable. Okay, I was just vulnerable. I, I, need, I, I needed someone to talk to, someone to vent to. How know? dare you? My friend, how dare you? So it's my fault. It's not your fault. I'm not it's, saying it's your fault. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just. Mother, listen, the dissolution of this marriage is imminent. Come on, that's okay. extreme. Come on, babe. Come on. I'm done. Come on. I'm done. Babe. sake of love. Okay, let's do it for the sake of our kids. Come on, just reason with me. We can do this, babe. Come on. You must think I'm a fool, okay? 
Somewhere in your sick mind, you must actually think I'm stupid. Get lost! What is wrong? Wait! Just wait. Wait. Let's get this right. I want to get it right. <laughs> baby! <laughs> Mufe, I am not your baby, okay? And it is not between me and you. It's between you and God, alright? And listen, Mufe, don't you ever, I repeat, ever in your miserable life ever obstruct any of my movements. Idiots. Do you know what? Try it and you will see what the hell I can do. Yeah? Scum. Yeah. This is why I never wanted to apologize. You're way too proud! I don't care. Let the heavens fall. I'm not apologizing again. That was so close, Ella. Seriously close. I wished that pressed harder. Me too. But why is mom proving so stubborn? To err is human. And to forgive is divine. Forgiveness is not that easy like jam on bread. The memories even make it harder. And it's not easy to forgive a deliberate act. Are you sure the act was deliberate? Well, maybe. But he said he was vulnerable. It's not easy to forgive cheating. Mom has every right to be angry. Did you tell mom about this? No. But I know mom. She must have interrupted. This is so messy. Lily. Mm -hmm. I pray mom and dad be concerned. <sighs> Me too. Just look at okay for ourselves. This is bad. Girls, what are you guys doing? As you can see clearly, cooking for ourselves. When I'm home, you should call your mommy. I'll come do it for you. And why, Mrs. Oga? Listen, as far as we're concerned, we don't have any parents. Period. And please, Mrs. Oga, leave. You are occupying space. Leave us so that we can cook peacefully. Thank you. Girls, I'm your mommy.
Mr. and Mrs. Oga, since you two have decided not to see reasons to reconcile, we are leaving this house. We are no longer staying in this loveless family anymore. We don't want to come into society like this with this brother Koladi did. And you'll be hearing from our lawyer soon. We are suing you for child support. We might not be needing you. But we still need your money to sustain us. Goodbye, Mom and Dad. For the last time. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, because I wronged you. I was just insecure because you make more money than I do. And I was insecure because I thought you were leaving because I have nothing to offer. Oh, I'm the insecure one. Maybe I'm the insecure one. You're perfect in everything, you know? You're more domesticated than me. And I was scared that you would leave me. And then when I saw that female friend of yours, it, it just got to me, you know? Please forgive me. I love you. I'm sorry, I love you too. Who says? Taking a step closer to ironing our decisions is not a good thing. Oh, Spain. 